Hello everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. I missed you guys last week. Um, I can't even remember where I was last week. Why did I take off last week? I don't remember. <laughs> oh yes, we had Leadership Summit. I couldn't even remember. <sighs> yeah, so that was amazing. Stampin' Up! had Leader Summit last weekend online. It was amazing. I'm still trying to process all the information we got. Uh, we were supposed to be in New Orleans, but instead it was online, which happened to be uh, a good thing because of that hurricane. It didn't hit New Orleans, but it was in the area. So I don't know. They probably would have canceled it anyway. Hello, everybody. Good to see you guys jumping on. Michelle, trying to give me, feed me my words, please. I know. Words are hard. Friday. We're up. Oh, Got to hear Friday. myself. I you guys last week. How do I turn that off? Don't you hate when you hear your own voice? Urgh. Okay, so today I have a ton of stuff to tell you. I got to figure out how to turn this down first. Um, there it is. I don't even know why it's up. I have a ton of things to tell you guys. So I'm going to get started pretty quickly today. The first thing that I want to tell you is that this guy, the new cut and emboss machine is available. You guys can now order it. It's fantastic. I've been using it for a month now. I love it. Um, there is nothing about it that I don't like. Um, it is similar to the Big Shot in that it cranks but the really cool thing is that these fold up you know like they fold out let's see if I can I'll fold one out so you can they fold out when you're using it and then they fold in for storage and it's cute it's like a little purse anyway it comes with everything that you need it has all the plates that you need to get started um, there are some other accessory plates that aren't quite available yet you know this has kind of been a slow rollout but the magnetic plate is available. You can add that on if you want. So it's 120. It is something you can get in your starter kit, by the way. Starter kit's $99, get $125 worth product. So if you want it and you wanna get a discount, you could always buy it in your starter kit. Um, and then all the benefits of that. I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit about that in a minute. But anyway, I just wanted to make sure I pointed that out because I'm not even using it today for our, our projects. Hello, I should have planned that differently, shouldn't I? I actually die cut two little things ahead of time. I'm trying to make it faster. Oh, well. Anyway, it's out. You guys have seen me use it for several weeks. I love it. I highly recommend it. Um, and I am pretty proud of Stampin' Up's new machine. I think they did a great job with it. Okay, next up is the September All-Star Tutorial. Hopefully you guys saw the blog hop. It went up yesterday, 5 p.m. my time. And this month we're doing the Playing With Patterns suite. So 12 tutorials with Playing With Patterns, um, each one designed by a different Stampin' Up! demonstrator from around the world. Mine, and I was a little sneaky, I made mine a Halloween project because I'm in that, I'm in that mood. And if you guys saw the candy I bought, when was it last week? I have to put it into use. So mine is a little Halloween project showing you how you can take non-Halloween products like playing with patterns and turning them into a Halloween project. Um, this is cute. It reminds me of the um, little lifesaver. Um, remember when we were kids at Christmas, they had like a lifesaver book. That's kind of what this reminds me of. It slides out and it opens up. It's really, really cute. Um, and then my alternate project is right here, so you can see that one on the blog. Now this, um, I've told you guys this before, this, this time we're doing all videos. So the directions are not typed, each person filmed a video, which is fantastic. Um, I, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes, especially with 3D projects, it's easier to watch a video. So they're all there, they have links. This is available in my PDF store for $15. Um, I will update the video here with links to all of that when I'm done. Um, you also get it free when you spend $50 with me online. So, you know, might as well get more bang for your buck. And speaking of more bang for your buck, there's quite a bit you can get for your buck between now and Monday. And I'm going to tell you that. Let me put this over here. So if you spend $50, you get that for free, that PDF. Um, Facebook Friday is always uh, free with a purchase. So the three projects I do are kind of like a class. And then if you put in an order by Monday at midnight, minimum order $35, I send you the three make and takes for free. All you need are the stamps, ink, and adhesive. Um, this week, I have another bonus. So if you bump your order to $50, not only do you get that PDF, 
but you also get my dog days of summer. I know it's backwards. Let's see if I can, can I flip it on the fly? Do I know how to do that? I don't think I do. <laughs> I thought I did, but it all looks different. Okay, wait a minute. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Hopefully I don't screw you guys up. Let's see. All right, let's see. <gasps> is it, it's not backwards anymore, is it? Oh, I did it. Okay, so anyway, dog days of summer, Stamp and Blends giveaway. So August is always the dog days of summer to me, so I hate it. <laughs> I try to make it more fun. So for you guys, I'm giving away free blends to for every $50 you spend online with me um, between now and Monday. There's a host code. You have to use the host code. All the details on this, I feel like this looks weird, so I'm flipping it back. There we go. I don't know. That looked weird. Um, all the details are over there on my blog. You can see them on today's post. Let's see if I can put that away. There we go. Good, now I can see your comments. So let's review. $35 order between now and Monday, you get the projects. $50 order, you get the projects and a free set of blends. When you put that order in, you guys, you have to email me which color blends you want, okay? Um, I'm not gonna hunt you down <laughs> to find out what blends you want. So email me, go over to my blog, click email me, and let me know what blends you want. Um, I have, if you have already put in an order, I've ordered most of your blends already. Um, I've been putting in several orders over the last few days for different things and just adding your blends onto those as we go. Um, but I will put one more order in on Tuesday morning to get the blends for everybody else who orders this weekend. So if you do order, um, usually I ship out the make and takes on Wednesday morning. They might be a little bit delayed because I'm going to order those blends to put in with your make and takes, okay? Um, so $50 gets you quite a bit right now. You get to, you know, get $50 of whatever you choose online. Plus you get free blends, free PDF, and free make and takes. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Um... Something popped into my head, and I'm afraid I'm going to forget to tell you because I don't have a reminder. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to save it for the end. Hopefully, somebody will remind me if I forgot. Thank you, Michelle. I bought these from my downline. Crystal, weren't they cute? Okay, now, there's a starter kit special. I was telling you, you could buy the, the I almost called it the Big Shot, the cut and emboss machine in your starter kit. Starter kit is always $99 free shipping. Um, you get $125 of product. Anything you want, anything. Um, but this month, they have created this amazing added bonus to the starter kit. It's the same price, but you're gonna get this kit. It's called the Get and Go Kit. And it's so that once you get your starter kit, you'll have everything you need to have your first event, your first class. You get two additional stamp sets, the, the Queen Anne's Lace and So Much Love, which I happen to not have either of those. You get those for free. And then you get uh, two different sets of make and takes for your customers, um, eight each. So you could have eight people at your class and you would have everything that you need to do your first class. That reminds me, I've got all three dogs down here. The kids are doing online school, so they can't help me today. And it's pouring down rain, so it might get a little crazy, you guys. <laughs> so <laughs> forgive me. I don't know what's happening. There's somebody across the street, and so, of course, he's like, Ur. Um, Let's see. Somebody just asked me a question. So if you spend $50, you get the make and takes, blends, and the videos. Yes, Michelle, and the videos. The videos are part of that PDF. 12 video tutorials. Pretty good, right? Okay, so back to this starter kit, $99. If you have thought about buying the starter kit and maybe trying to um, do this on the side, maybe hold a class a month, make a little extra money, support your habit, get the discount. This is a great way to kind of put your foot in. Um, you, I don't know why that keeps, keeps making that noise. You um, will have everything you need to have your first little event. And I think that's brilliant. Stampin' Up! It was so smart to do that. So if you want more details on that, today on my post, I will click the link to that. So make sure you click on it and find it. Okay, I can't see the whole, I knew it was you, Mike. I'm so glad you're here. I could only see the photo. Welcome, Mike. I'm so glad you're here. Um, Starter kit special. It's awesome. Check my blog for the details. Okay, next. How about my Halloween class, you guys? Did you check out the video, Halloween Treats? It's really cool this time. 
six projects through um, six 3D projects. They all feature the Halloween uh, Hallows Night Magic. I call it Halloween Night Magic. I don't know. Again, they didn't consult me when they named the stamp set. I don't know why, but I would call it the Halloween Night Magic. <laughs> That's too many words. Anyway, um, it features that bundle in the holiday catalog, dies and stamps, um, six 3D projects, okay? Oh, Sue, good. Hi, Sue, I'm glad you ordered it. Um, there are four options with my classes always. You get option one, includes the bundle, stamps and die, all six projects, free bolts of ribbon, everything you need. Option two does not include the stamps and dies, but includes everything else you need. Option three is the PDF only. Yes, there is a PDF only version in my PDF store right now. You know what I'm thinking? I did not update today's blog post with all this at the bottom. I will do that when I'm done. So you guys can just click on today's post and all this will be at the bottom. It's on today's PDF too. So you can click on that. Um, and then option four is for my team. They get the make and takes at a serious discount. So the deadline for this, and I just took that off, is September 18th. They will be in the mail by September 24th. Um, so that's kind of a quick turnaround, but I want you guys to have all of October to play with your Halloween stuff, okay? All right, so there's that. You have to um, register, you have to message me for that registration link unless you get my emails. The registration link is always in that email. Okay, number two, the last event thing I'm doing this month is my September Club Create. Now, guys, Club Create is full. It's over full. I can't take any more Club Create uh, members right now, but this month we're doing the Autumn Goodness Bundle, and I already filmed the video and loaded the PDF in my PDF store. So if you want that, you can get the PDF. I can't sell any more kits because I'll be cutting until the end of time. <laughs> Too many already, so we're full. But you can still get the PDF with a video in it. It's in my PDF store, okay? September Club Create members, you're gonna love these projects. At least I think you will. Okay, let me put that out of the way. Um, how about Paper Pumpkin? I put this month's Paper Pumpkin together and it's so cute. Um, it is called World's Greatest, which is so appropriate right now, right? We've been celebrating our healthcare workers and our teachers. Um, it's nine cards and it's so beautiful. Now, if you did not subscribe and you didn't get this kit, here's a stamp set. It's really neat. Um, it has all these different words. So you can change the sentiment to say world's greatest teacher, coach, friend, kid. There's all these different options. So if you didn't get this month's paper pumpkin, actually this was August's paper pumpkin. If you didn't get it, I have several extra kits um, that I will sell to you. So let me know if you want that. Um, I've been meaning to tell you guys that and I keep forgetting. So I have extra paper pumpkin kits from August. That being said, you know what else I need to tell you guys? Where did I put that? Right here. This month, if you're like me and obsessed with fall and Halloween and pumpkins and all that, this month, September's paper pumpkin is going to be, it, the kit is called Hello Pumpkin. So they're saying, I mean, how that's all you had. You had me at pumpkin, right? So they're saying that they're going to be dual purpose. You can have them autumn themed treat packages. Um, but you can also have them Halloween treat packages. So whichever one you want. So if you don't celebrate Halloween, that's okay because they have the alternate for you on here. So anyway, check this out. Um, I will add that link too to this video when we're done in case you want to make sure. For me, when I have, when I know I'm, it's going to be a treat kit, I always get more because I know that one kit's not going to be enough for me. Um, especially when the kids are in school. I like to send treats to school and stuff. So you can always up your subscription to get more than one kit. Okay, my desk is getting clear, clear, almost. How about prizes? Funny enough, this from from two weeks ago, the prize was the stamps that we're using today. So I I picked two random people who shared that video. There was a lot of shares, you guys. Thank you so much. Um, two people to win the press on stamp set. And the winners are Jenna Carr, Jenna, congratulations, and Cheryl Rusma. Congratulations. Ladies, please message me your addresses so that I can get them to you in the mail ASAP, okay? Thank you so much for sharing. And this week I've got really good prizes. My prize cabinet, which is like right there, is so full I can't put anything else in it. I used my bonus days coupons on tons of prizes for you guys. So I need to like 
clean some of it out so I have room for everything. <laughs> Lucky you guys. So I have three bundles I'm giving away this week, okay? So all you have to do is share on Facebook. Um, if you can just type in the comments shared, if you share in Messenger, on a private group, or to a friend, um, and then I'll know you shared, okay? So the first, the first um, bundle that I'm giving away is the Mountain Air Bundle. Love that one. The second one is one of the new ones, Love of Leaves, one of my favorites. If you can see right there, a little sneak peek of a class that's coming next month. Been working on that this week, using Love of Leaves. And then the beautiful Celebrate Sunflowers bundle. Okay, so I'll give all three of these away next Friday. I'll pick three winners next Friday. All right, I'm getting close, okay. The one thing I wanted to remember to tell you is that my BOGO sale is going to be next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> the BOGO sale online is very stressful. Um, it is hard to keep up with everything. It's, it's crazy. I work like 14 hour days, those three days. Um, so I'm asking for patience next week, you guys, okay? Um, it's a lot of technology. So, of course, you know, when there's technology, there's problems, there's glitches, whatever. Um, it'll all be right here on Facebook. I upload albums of all my retired stuff. So there'll be an album of stamps, an album of bundles, an album of ribbon. I've got a ton of ribbon. Album of embellishments, album of dyes, paper. Oh, my gosh, a ton of paper. And then it'll all be free with an equal online order. So what you'll do is you'll look through the albums and you'll pick the things you want and type sold. And I'm going to go over all this next week. You'll type sold. You'll send me a form of what you've chosen. Then you'll put in an online order and we'll figure out shipping. You pay shipping. And then I send you all of that retired stuff for free. It's very cool. So you're actually getting double the product for, you know, single price. So if you picked out, let's say, $100 in retired product, you spend $100 online and I send you, you get all that $100 stuff you ordered online, plus I send you all the $100 of retired product for free, right? It's very exciting. So that's coming next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You guys have been asking about it all summer. I usually do it locally in June, but of course we didn't. Um, and then um, I usually do it online late July, early August. Didn't get to it. So now it's happening Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, okay? Um, so I... Monday's Labor Day here. I don't know what we're doing, um, but I'm going to try to do a, a video with you guys to show you everything, explain everything so it'll make sense. So be watching for that, okay? And don't send me any special requests. I'm not going to do special requests pulling out stuff for you because that's too crazy. you just have to wait. Tuesday at 9 a.m. Central, it'll all go up, okay? Okay. All right, we are ready. So today we are doing three projects with the Press On Stamp Set. This is so cute. I love coffee stamp sets, which is pretty ironic because I don't like coffee at all. But I love coffee stamp sets. They're fun and cute. And I just think that they really lend themselves to gift giving. Starbucks gift cards. My daughter is now obsessed with um, Dunkin' Donuts. We have a new Dunkin' Donuts here in our area and she loves it even more. So we give a lot of those gift cards to teachers and stuff. Um, so I love to do that. And I also find lots of coffee flavored treats and all that. So I do actually have two treat holders today and a gift card holder. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, remember, if you put in your order between now and Monday at midnight, using the host code that is at the top of today's PDF, and it'll be down here when I flip my camera over, um, you will get the make and takes for free in the mail next week. They look like this, they come in a package. I do all the cutting and scoring for you. Um, usually, like if I am featuring a bundle, I'm not gonna die cut with that those dies but this week it doesn't feature any dies so all you will need to do these projects are the press on stamp set and the ink i do not send pre-stamped images okay i send everything else you can see all your embellishments your paper everything that you need and a little thank you tag will be in there so here are a few of our past ones just so you can get an idea of what they look like that's a thank you tag don't don't try to report me. I'm not sending pre-stamped images. <laughs> That's a thank you tag, like a thank you card. It has nothing to do with the projects, okay? But everything else is in there that you need. Okay, and that PDF that I just was referring to is over at pinkbuckaroo.com right now. I'm going to flip you guys over, okay? So pinkbuckaroo.com. Um, 
under the third, no, actually today it's under the fourth photo. There's four photos today. You will find a link for that PDF. Hopefully somebody has gone over there and checked to make sure it's up and live. And I'm so far ahead um, this week that I even have the clean recordings of today's projects linked, edited, and available. Sometimes I amaze myself. Other times I amaze myself for other reasons. Okay, you guys, why can't I figure out how to turn those sounds off on my Kindle? I don't know. I apologize. I have the volume all the way down. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. I think I might have seen something. Hold on. Okay, notification volume. Mm-hmm. We're going to turn that down. Okay, let's try that because I don't, because that is irritating. I know, and I'm sorry. Let's see if I can get you guys back up now. And we will start stamping. If you don't know, I'm new to this Kindle because my iPad died and I only use it during Facebook Live. You would think that I would practice when I'm not on live so I could figure it out, but I don't. And then the next week during Facebook Live, I am once again stumbling all around because I can't figure out stupid Kindle. Okay, we are ready to stamp. These projects today are so fun. Um, I always have fun with like a themed stamp set, you know, when it's um, a treat or holiday or something, it's always really fun for me. So the PDF has the photos, all the products I'm using, all the measurements, and then everything that I mentioned is over there. And it has links that you can click on. And I'm gonna add all this to the bottom of my blog. I forgot to do that. Um, but anyway, um, Everything that I mentioned is there. Also, that just click on that. That'll take you to the online store. And you guys can buy anything you want. You don't have to buy exactly what I am featuring. I don't care what you buy. I don't look even to see what you bought. I just um, see that you ordered and see that you used the host code. And then I send them to you. Now, if your order is over $150, I say this every week, but I got to remember to say it. Um, don't use that host code because then you get free stamping rewards and I will send the make and takes automatically to anybody who spends over $150, okay? All right, hello everybody. Welcome to everybody who's joined me. You missed all my blabbering. You came right at the right time. <laughs> Donna, you're right. My little doggy logo should be a schnauzer. I know you're right. With a, with a barking like bubble above it. <laughs> okay, first project we're gonna do is a little treat box. And inside this little treat box are donuts. Have you guys seen these? This is a limited edition. I'm guessing it's for fall. Um, Caramel Crunch, I have not eaten them. I've eaten every other thing in my office this week, but I <laughs> haven't eaten these. Um, they look really good. Somebody asked, one of my downline posted these, um, and somebody asked if they were coconut. I don't think they're coconut, caramel crunch. So I'm thinking, I don't know. Anyway, it looks delicious, but they come in different flavors too. So if you decide to make this project like in April, they have just the powdered donuts and the chocolate donuts too. I get them at Walmart um, over with the little Debbie snacks and stuff, which is also in the bread area. And I linked it to in, um, on Amazon too, in case you want to look to see what it looks like. So that's what's in here. And my thought was, yeah, you're like, okay, it's coffee. But wouldn't it be cute? You know, sometimes you stop at Starbucks, get yourself something, you get your friend something or your coworker something, and you bring them a cup of coffee. Wouldn't that be cute to do and then hand them like a little donut? Because then they can have a snack with their coffee. I just think that's super cute, a cute idea. So that was my intention with this, coffee and donuts, okay? Okay, let's get started. I need my Simply Scored and... All right, so my daughter has just pulled up. Hopefully the dogs do not lose their minds. We'll see. <laughs> she went to, oh, I don't know. She's got done with school early today. You guys, are they've been doing school in their rooms for two weeks now, eight hours a day strapped to their computer. I am not a fan. I can tell you right now, this mama is not a fan of that kind of school. It is not healthy and they are not liking it. <sighs> but that's a whole nother story. Okay. Yeah, there he goes. He can't help himself. Seven and a half by eight and a half is your real red card stock. You're going to score the long side. No, no. Yes, the long side. Hold on. They'll stop as soon as she walks in. Hopefully. I need the Jeopardy music. Charlie, that's enough. He says, no, it's not, Mama. 
Okay, I'm sorry. All your dogs and cats are going crazy at home. I apologize. I just wanted to wake everybody up, okay? Yeah, Christine, it's crazy. Eight hours a day. My 12th grader, she's fine. She, you know, she can handle it. But my sixth grader, Ellie, can you please get them? That was actually worse, I think, coming in the garage. <laughs> Will you take them upstairs, please? Ellie? Yes. Will you take them upstairs, please? Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, so my sixth grader is not a fan of it at all. She, it's very difficult being sitting at your desk like that all day. And, and this is the first year of middle school for her. It's pretty sad. But you know what? We'll survive. We'll survive. Okay, back to this. Seven and a half by eight and a half. Score the long side, you guys, at two, four, six, and eight. And then turn it to the short side and score it at two and five and a half. You know, I don't know if you guys have ever been on a Zoom meeting. That's what all their classes are. So they have eight classes a day via Zoom. And, you know, I do Zoom meetings with my team. Um, I don't know. I, this weekend we had Zoom stuff um, with the leadership. It's hard to stay focused. After like an hour, my I'm brain dead. I don't know how they're doing it. Um, okay, long side... <laughs> Long side, we're gonna cut all the score lines, okay? I don't know, we don't really have an end date either. Um, it, it's um, phases, right? But they don't tell us, it phase back, to, um, back in school. Cut this little rectangle off. But they don't tell us how long the phases will last. And they're kind of vague on who can come back in which phase. And then now they're saying when they go back to school, they will stay in one classroom all day and continue to do school via the computer. <sighs> it's not healthy, you guys. I've, I've had it. I'm like, I don't know. It's very upsetting. Okay, so this is what your paper looks like so far, right? We're going to take... So this is the, the lid. This is gonna be tucked in to the box. So we need to cut these two right here to about the same width as that. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut that. That's gonna help kind of, you know, you could cut it completely off, but then you're gonna have a gap there. Um, when you have something that folds down in, there's not a kind of a, a weird funky gap. So that's why I do that. And then you want to Cut off the corners. Oh, Jan, good. I didn't wake your, your baby up. Good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. All right. And then we're going to cut the corners off this one. We have um, a glass front door that's um, kind of like it's not clear. It's that kind of beveled. So it's all distorted. So any movement he sees, he goes crazy. Even though he can't tell what it is, he's like, we're under attack. And so any kind of movement, a car goes through the cul-de-sac, anything, he's crazy. All right, now, the two squares on either side of the large square, I'm cutting at an angle, okay? I'm cutting those corners. This is just gonna help make sure all of our edges are matched up. Nothing's gonna be bigger than, than the other. Okay, so there we have it. Now. I am gonna grab my Stamp and Seal Plus. I'm gonna, this is the inside. I'm gonna flip it to the outside and I'm gonna put some Stamp and Seal Plus on all four of the squares. So not the center one, but the four, okay? Now I'm gonna flip these in and I'm gonna flip them in like this. And I'm gonna take that middle one, that's what the one I'm gonna use as my centering you know because these were cut kind of at an angle but we're going to line everything up with that one because it was exactly straight okay flip this one this one's much easier because you've already done the other side and like that so then these guys just fold in there we go. Oh, Ruth, I'm just reading your comment. Ruth says she has a fourth and ninth grader online all day. Our school district has announced they're doing virtual learning this semester. They're miserable. So 
You guys, I don't want to get into any kind of controversial things with you guys, but what's been on my heart lately is that it's time to speak up. Um, if you feel like things aren't right for your kids, you got to make your voice heard. That's all I'm going to say about that. And if you don't follow Jennifer Allwood on Instagram and you kind of, you agree with me, then you might want to go listen to her too. Anyhow, we'll move on because we don't want to get into anything, right? We're just stamping. We're just having fun. Don't instant message me. Don't tell me I'm wrong. I don't want to hear it. Okay. <laughs> it's just stamping, right, Denise? It's just ink and paper and stamps. All right, so I've cut this paper. This is the new paper from the holiday catalog. I can't remember any of the names. Trimming the Town. It's the one with the houses, the cute little one with the houses. So I have cut a piece for the top and the sides, okay? Nancy, you live in Collinsville, Oklahoma. Our kids went back to regular teacher in the room school. Oh, they're actually going to these kids need, it. yeah. Mm. Well, Jennifer Allwood was talking about how her kids have to start their track meet wearing their masks. They have to run with their masks on. And that's, that's kind of the straw that broke the camel's back for her. And, and I've, I'm seeing weird stuff like that too here. Um, luckily, my daughter, she plays tennis, and they have started tennis practice this week. Um, she says they're going to be practicing kind of in shifts. So like half the team at one time, half the team at another time, which helps kind of, you know, bring down the number of if they were all exposed then it would just be half the team that's exposed. Okay, so I've tied the ribbon around the box like that. This is the Playful Pets Ribbon Trim Combo Pack. You know, my favorite. And that's your box. Now, this is a scalloped, stitched so sweetly scalloped rectangle. And I'm gonna sandwich it. It kind of pokes up, peeks up a little bit. It's not a perfect fit and that's okay. I wanted it to kind of stand out. And I'm gonna sandwich it over those after I've done my stamping. And we're gonna stamp the, the little line of coffee cups. They're so cute. And then we're gonna color them rainbow colored. Now, this paper is Christmas paper, but I didn't stick with a Christmas theme here. If you wanted to stick with a Christmas theme, of course, color your cups all red or red and green or whatever. Okay? All right, so. Here are the colors I'm using. Real Red, Pumpkin Pie, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, and Balmy Blue. And I only pulled the darks, um, but you'll see here I did use dark and light on these two. But I think I'm just going to use all the darks on these. And I will tell you, when you do this, this is teeny tiny, okay? You got to get real close, <laughs> put on your glasses, and dot the color on. Don't, whoops, don't try to do a whole lot of, you know, coloring like this. And hopefully you guys don't see my head. I mean, I'm like six inches away because it's tiny. And then up here, just kind of dot that color on here. It's so cute, but it's so tiny. Okay, so first one, real red. Second one, I am gonna be so over time today, you guys. So over time, but you know, like Donna said this week, she said, what else have I got to do? Right, Donna? Not like I'm going anywhere. I know. <sighs> Someday we'll look back and we'll, we'll be like, remember those times when we couldn't go anywhere? It was so nice. <laughs> you know, once our kids were all like back in sports and we have meetings to go to and we're so busy. We'll say, remember back when we had nothing to do and we complained. I hope, I hope that's sooner than later because I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm COVID weary. I'm ready for it to be done. All right, so Granny Apple. I love Granny Apple Green. I'm not a big green person, but I do love Granny Apple Green. All right, there we go. And last but not least, Balmy Blue. And I think I'm going to just color. What is this called, you guys? This is little belly band around the coffee cup. You know, they put that on the little sleeve. Is that what it's called? A sleeve? So that your coffee's not 
too hot for you to hold. I kept calling it a belly band when I made my videos today and I couldn't remember the word, but now I think it's, you would call that a sleeve. Okay, so there you have it. So cute, right? However, I wanted to pop up that heart. So I cut out some tiny hearts using this, the detailed heart die. One swoop and you've got like 30 hearts, right? And I want you all to ooh and all over my cute bowl. Isn't it so cute? I got this at the grocery store, local friends, H-E-B, $2.97. I had to have it. It's just very cute. Um, <laughs> I'm going to grab this. Let's see. I'm going to grab this teeny tiny heart right here. And it's way too small for um, a dimensional. It's way too small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a glue dot dimensional. So I'm going to put it on one glue dot and then another glue dot and then another glue dot, and then maybe one more. And I'm gonna try to fold those little glue dot edges around. It's even too small for a glue dot, but I want it to pop up, and we're gonna make it work. All right, so fold that gummy stack of, I can't do this with my left hands, gummy stack of glue dots, and stick that down right there. And Wink of Stella is here, so of course we're gonna Put a little wink. We could even do like a little wink over here, a little wink over here. Don't you love Wink of Stella? It's so fun. Okay. All right. Oh, what's my favorite color? Well, it's red and pink in general terms. Okay. So real red for sure. And then Melon Mambo. But Magenta Madness is kind of jumping up there. So red and pink are my favorite colors. Um... In the fall, though, I love fall colors. If I had to pick, you know, like a color scheme. I've been working on fall projects today. I'm trying to get ahead, you guys. See how I put those on either side of the ribbon? And I'm going to sandwich that right there. And there you have your little box. A little donut box. So cute. I'm trying to get ahead <clears throat> and get Facebook Friday projects designed for the whole month. Because... At the end of the month, I might be going on a little getaway. Maybe. We'll see. But details coming later. Who knows? All right. Project number one is done. Make sure you get the PDF so you have the measurements. Donuts. I'm going to go give these to Addie so she can eat them. She loves donuts. Although those have crunchy things, she may not like that. Okay. Project one is done. Let's move on. I needed from this tray nothing. Okay. Project number two... It's fun. And look, I actually have already made three of these because when I made the first one, I didn't like how I used, when I cut this DSP off, which I'll show you how we're going to do in a minute, I turned it and put it on there and it fit perfectly. However, it was throwing me off that it was crooked. So I made another one, but it requires another full piece of DSP. So when you make this yourself, when you cut off that corner of DSP, you can turn it if that doesn't bother you with it being like sideways, then do it, save your paper. But then I made that one. And this one didn't have the coffee beans either. So it was a process. All right, so these are the little Starbucks Via Instant White Chocolate Mocha. I've never had these guys, I don't know, but they look fun. And I think that's a fun, easy treat, right? So they look like this. Again, Walmart, five of them. It was like three bucks. Um, and there are five in here. I just said that, hello. But <laughs> I mean, you can get a lot of, you know, that would go a long way. Hand those out at work or, or maybe, you know, put them on your porch for social distance pickup. I don't know, but it's cute. <laughs> do it later when we can have friends again. All right, now I do want to say also that this project was inspired, and I wrote her name down, Anne Marie Peterson. She did a project like this last year. I had penned it on Pinterest, and it was cute. Hers is different. It was wider, and it held more things, and I so I changed up the measurements because I wanted it to be thin. But anyway, I had to give her credit. Anne Marie, thank you for the idea. All right, so let's get started. You're going to need crumb cake right here, and where did I put my Simply Scored? I know, Karen, she says, I haven't been able to get together with my card making and scrapbook group. I know, I know. 
it's hard, right? We need people. We just, we, we need people. We do. I've always been one that I need my alone time. <laughs> and I do. But I also really like to be with my friends too. So yeah, I hear ya. I hear ya. Okay. Crumb cake. Seven and three fourths by seven and a half. We're going to score the long side at two and a fourth, two and three fourths, five and five and a half. Then you're going to turn it and score it at, let me look at my notes, half an inch and one inch. All right. Now we're going to need a ruler. Uh oh, now Amazon's here. Oh yeah, he went upstairs. That's right, Ellie took him upstairs. You're going to need a ruler because you're going to make several little tick marks. Um, on this one, this is the bottom where these score lines are. And we're going to make a tick mark three inches up. Okay, so just make a little mark there. And a little mark there. I will tell you, it took me several tries to get this project right. <laughs> so who? somebody just asked me. Con, was it you? She says, couldn't you turn it right side? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but I'm not kidding. It took me like six tries to get this right. Okay, <laughs> now, full disclosure, I was gonna show you guys a picture too. I made the cutest thing right before our video and I cannot wait to show you guys. It's for Facebook Friday in three weeks and now I have to wait. Um, it's very cute and I was so proud of myself. I can't wait to show you guys. I was gonna show you the drawing, how I sketched it out, because you guys always ask me about that, about how I come up with the, the plans and stuff. Maybe I'll save it and I'll show you when I show you the project. Okay, we're gonna do some cutting. We're gonna cut off these two rectangles here and these two rectangles here. Now again, this is kind of Christmassy looking. Well, I mean, I guess not. Red gingham, it is Christmas paper, but not necessarily Christmas, right? Um, but if you wanted to change, you know, you could do, oh, what am I doing? I need to cut both of those off. Um, you could do any paper, obviously. All right, now, so we've cut those two off. We're going to cut these two little squares off here, but we're also going to cut up so that, that that remaining one is a little flap, okay, like that. So like that and like that, okay? All right, now... Those two pieces of paper, let me get them. This is the um, Twall Tidings DSP from last year's holiday catalog. It's come back because we loved it so much. You could do green on the other side if you want. Um, I have to always visualize this so that I cut it correctly. This, we're gonna cut, remember the tick line we made right here? We're gonna cut diagonally from that tick line to the second score line, okay? So that means that this paper needs to be cut from here to here. And I like to put a little mark so that I know. And then this one, we're gonna cut from, let me put it down here. Again, you can mark the DSP at three inches, but I'm just gonna do that. We're gonna do that here to here. So I'm gonna draw a little line so you can see we're gonna cut that one that way and this one up that way. If you laid them on together and cut them both that way, it would be wrong, okay? So make sure you look at it before you cut it. And that I have to mark them so I, I know which corner. It's harder than it sounds when you go to cut it. it you know, you it, believe me, it's harder than you think. <laughs> okay, so put your tick mark right here in the ditch of your, um, um, what is this called? Your Your cutter, all right? Your paper cutter, put <laughs> in your paper cutter. Um, the score line down here, I mean, the tick line goes into the gutter right here. The second score line, okay? You're gonna wanna go to the first, don't go to the first, go to the second. Put that in the ditch and slice it off, okay? See that? Now we're gonna do the same over here and I'm gonna Line that up, second score line back, slice it off. Okay, so it looks like that. Now these guys, if you wanna cut them the same, turn it that way, okay? And that's what we'll do. 
So again, you're gonna take that tick mark and that top corner, and I'm gonna do a little bit higher so I can cut off my ugly pencil lines, and cut, okay? So that they are like that. If you cut them both that way, then you'll just have to have red and green. Or actually, yeah, you would. You would have to have red and green. All right. In the Netherlands, you don't have those VIA sticks. Is it VIA or VIA? VIA? Our city buses are called VIA. So am I out? So I call them VIA. I don't know. I, and I've never had them, so I don't know if they're good or not. It makes a fun treat. You could put something else in there. I'm sure you could put like little, I don't know, some kind of candy sticks or... I'm sure you could find something. All right, we're gonna lay that one there. And that one's gonna be crooked. Wait a minute, hold up. Let me go down a little bit like that. Okay, there. All right, so there we have our piece. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna adhere it crossed like that. Let's see which one I like better. I like that one better. Um, now, fold these in like this. Oops, I forgot to snip that one. You guys are probably yelling at me, telling me. See those? Okay, now we're gonna put adhesive just right here. I need my Stampin' Seal Plus for this. And I'm gonna fold those little flaps in. Remember, that's just to create that, um, you know, so you don't have a gap there. All right, and then fold that down. See how I've sandwiched the little tab? And fold in, okay? Now we'll put some adhesive on this side. Fold that tab in and go in little tab and close like that. Cute, right? So cute. All right, now we're gonna put that in there and there you have it. Now let's make the tag. Now Donna, I know you're here and you don't like fussy cutting. I, now every time I do a fussy cutting project, I think about Donna. She's telling me, I don't like, I don't like to fussy cut. I get it, I know, I know. All right, so stamp your to-go cup on very vanilla and um, real red, okay? Both memento black. Then grab your real red and that little heart. We're gonna do that right there in the middle. And then down here on this end of our very vanilla piece, we'll just stamp our little sentiment, a cup of thanks you guys like it thank you okay now for the real red one we're just gonna cut the sleeve the belly band the center part we're gonna cut it off okay <laughs> Donna this one's easy it's straight lines see it's not too hard but I know sometimes I just I just wish that we had dyes for everything, but then it would just make everything more expensive, right? Because then you'd want the dyes and it'd be more expensive. And sometimes it's just, it's just better to fussy cut and spend the money on another stamp set. All right, now this one, you're just gonna go around, okay? Around a little cloud like this. And like that, easy peasy. Just wait till the next project, Donnie. You're gonna hate it. <laughs> More fuzzy cutting, I can hear her yelling. More fuzzy cutting, Erica, what are you doing to me? All right, now I'm just gonna trim this just a little strip, okay? And I'm gonna grab my stapler. Let me grab my stapler. I think it's better to just staple this on. Do I have staples? Yes. All right, I'm gonna flag the end of this little banner. Thanks for the shares, guys, I appreciate it. I'm just gonna staple it like that, okay? Now, for the little tag, I have cut out a crumb cake. Where is my crumb cake? Oh yeah, I used it and I put it back. See, that's what happens. I have everything organized, but then I stamp and I forget to put them back on the tray. All right, little coffee beans all over. Very cute. 
and dimensionals please right here in the center put that there get that wink of Stella and brush that heart to make it pop out a little bit okay and last but not least we're gonna put that in the center oh no this isn't last we got to do one more thing and see if yours is wonky a little bit like mine and you don't want to erase your pencil marks don't worry you can just cover it up <laughs> with your tag see okay last but not least so i have these left over from my pets class i have a lot of them so i decided to use them but they come in a package of little bones and little hearts um, they're very cute. These are, again, from the Playful Pets suite of pro products. They are so cute. I'm going to stick that on top of that staple right there with a glue dot. Cover that up. And my favorite, look, I'm almost down to the end. Do I have enough? I think so. This is the Real Red Braided Linen Trim. This feels thinner to me than the other braided trim that we have. It's almost like twine. Man, I miss our twine. We need to bring back our twine. And voila, we are done with that one. What do you guys think? Easy, right? Not too bad, not too much fuzzy cutting. And you could just hand them out. You could, I always think about when I was teaching, we all had mailboxes in the office and you could just throw them in everybody's mailbox and not have to see them, touch them, or breathe their air. <laughs> Okay, there you go. And you know what else? Well, I don't know. If you left this on somebody's porch, would it attract ants? I mean, it's sealed. Mm, I don't know. Here in South Texas, probably. <clears throat> okay, next we have one more project. And it's a gift card holder. I don't know about you guys, but Starbucks gift cards seem to be the go-to. The easy gift, right? I know as a teacher, I got a ton of them. And because I don't drink coffee, it wasn't necessarily my favorite. But even if you don't drink coffee, you can um, you can find something there, right? I mean, they've got amazing, like, pound cake and all that. So a cute gift card holder for Starbucks or Dunkin' or local coffee or whatever coffee place you have. And it fits right in there. Isn't that so fun? But get your scissors ready. We're gonna fussy cut, okay? Okay, let's make the card base first. Now, this is just a regular card base, half a piece of real red cardstock, folded in half, and I'm gonna cut off one inch from the bottom of the front, okay? So it's like that. I have, like I mentioned before, I've done some die cutting ahead of time using my new cut and emboss machine. I have cut the my very favorite die, and it's crooked, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna straighten it up when we glue it on. Um, the stitched scallop border, real red, and I'm gonna put it here behind, and I'm gonna straighten it up, see? You just straighten it right on up because you can see those lines, and snip that off, okay? Now, in my clean recording video today, this is the last one I made, and I made so many mistakes. So if you go watch that video, you just have to laugh. You know, did I not cut a second piece of paper, designer series paper? I don't think I did. All right, that's okay, we'll do it. First, you need to put your Whisper White four by five and a fourth on the inside, okay? Like that. Then we're gonna stamp the little sentiment in. Suddenly everything is missing. That seems to happen every week. At the end, I'm like, where's this? Where's that? All you need is confidence and lots of coffee. I would scratch that out and say Diet Coke. All right, my heart stamp and my real red ink pad. I like this little heart. It's cute. And I did it kind of like off to the side like that. Now, this paper that we're using, I cannot believe that I don't have that piece of paper. That's so weird. All right, well, whatever, we'll cut another one. This paper, luckily it's right here next to me, is called, what's it called? Somebody tell me. <laughs> trim, the, trim the season, trim the, trim, I'm looking. Tis the season. Why is it that I just can't learn the names of things? Here it is, 
See, it's real cute. It's all this Christmas paper. And it's good, just monochromatic patterns, which is my favorite. You know, like I want just monochromatic, simple patterns. That's always the paper that I go for, the paper that doesn't have a lot of colors and it's not too busy. And I, this whole stack is like that. All right, so we're just gonna need a, two, a piece of this paper that is two inches by four. And that actually looks too big. Let's see, what did I say? Well, maybe one and three fourths. All right. And we're gonna adhere this. Karen, vanilla bean frappuccino is what my little girls get. They love that thing, yes. It doesn't taste like coffee. You're right, if you don't like coffee, okay, I'm gonna push this, I'm gonna be sorry, because it's gonna spray out. It's clogged, there we go. Um, vanilla bean frap is the perfect thing to get if you don't like coffee. And this summer, I think I told you guys, I discovered a drink there that I liked. <sighs> Someone told me, they reminded me what it was called, now I can't remember, a refresher, one of the, like a dragon, passion fruit, lemonade refresher or something. It was very good. And it didn't have a lot of calories either, which was good. Okay, so I don't have another Starbucks gift card, so we're gonna pretend like this is a Starbucks gift card. Isn't that a cute gift card? That's from Michael's a couple years ago. So cute. Okay, so now we've got the inside. We're working backwards today. Let's do the front. So we're gonna cut out, we're gonna stamp and cut out three of these coffee cups. And these are the not to go coffee cups. And I have to tell you a really sad story about this stamp right here. So I have made four projects, by the way, I have a bonus for you on Monday, here it is. Um, four projects with this stamp set. And to, to yesterday when I got everything out to get ready for today, I could not find this stamp anywhere. And I don't normally lose stamps. Now dies, okay, yes. But stamps, no. And then I briefly remembered, I did see it somewhere and I thought, what is that doing here? Put it up, you're gonna need that. And then that, that's all I remember. <laughs> what I think happened, oh, wait a minute, we need this. What I think might have happened is during my massive clean out this week and organization of BOGO retired products, that it may be mixed in there somewhere. So anyways, the sad part of this story, I'm gonna stamp this cup again on three different plaids from that same paper pack. The sad part of that story is that I needed this cup for today's project. And I happen to have um, an extra press-on stamp set that I ordered for pri a prize. Um, not the two that I showed you this morning, it's for another prize um, with my team. And so, I mean, I looked for that stamp everywhere. I even prayed that God would help me find it and I did not find it. So I went and got that other stamp set and pulled that stamp out. So now I can't give it away as a prize because I've used part of it. So what a waste, I'm so mad at myself. And you know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna find the stamp now, now that I've pulled out that stamp and can't, you know, that stamp set's now contaminated because I've used it. I can't, you know, I mean, I guess I could give it away for a prize, but you don't want to use stamp set for a prize. Okay, why am I using Tombow? I don't want Tombow. All right, so I have stamped this coffee cup, the at-home coffee cup. This adhesive's giving me problems today. There we go. Um, I stamped it three times in Memento Black, three times on Whisper White, and then three, time, three times on three different patterns of paper from the... See, short-term memory. Tis the season designer series paper. And I cut out the little belly band slash sleeve. And I glued that on. And now we're going to cut these out. We need Jeopardy music while I do this. These are cute. I wanted to do something where I stacked them up. So that's what we're doing here. We're going to stack them up. So I love the way they look all cute stacked. Now, you guys that are in the United States, it's a holiday weekend. Hopefully we don't screw up our numbers. Here in San Antonio, our numbers are going down, 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 down. Every night with bated breath, I wait for the report from our mayor. <laughs> My husband's so irritated with me, 
but the numbers are going down, right? So happy. And so then all week, what did we hear? You better not go anywhere for Labor Day. You better not, right? Right? I'm sure you guys heard that too. So let's all behave on Labor Day weekend so that our numbers still continue to improve and my kids can go back to school. Fingers crossed. I don't know. We'll see. All right. There we go. That didn't take too long. Now we're going to stack them up on a piece of Whisper White. I want to make sure this fits because earlier today it did not. Okay, good. That's four by four and a fourth. It's four inches across and four and a fourth tall. I'm going to stack these up with dimensionals. You don't think, Dawn, you think, and no one would mind. I'll call it the used stamp prize. I just would feel bad giving away a used, partially used. <laughs> Heather, I would take the chance. All right, well then how about if I find my stamp set, I mean, if I find that missing stamp, I will give away that stamp set next week on Facebook Friday, okay? If I find it, it's y'all's. You can have it. I will, I will raffle off somebody's name. Somebody will get it, okay? But you just know, and I don't want to hear you online saying, Erica Sarwin gave me a used stamp set. Ew. None of that. All right? <laughs> okay. Now, this cute little sentiment, it looks like the steam coming out of the coffee. And so I'm going to put this cup here, but I want to stamp this, make sure I have room for it before I put that down like that. Okay, good. You got to kind of squish them down so you don't run out of room, okay? You got to make, you got to, oh, I already put a dimensional there. Hello. Um, you got to, you've got to, what am I trying to tell you? Yeah, like space them out. Make sure you got enough space when you do this, okay? All right, so now, funny thing is I had this card like this sitting all week and it was plain and boring. And I was like, we need to add something to it. So then I thought, okay, let's cut out a heart. Remember that same die? And this is the real red foil. Well, it's not real red. It's just red. It doesn't totally match real red, but it's close enough. Red and green foil we have in the holiday catalog. It's beautiful. So I cut out some red hearts and we're going to add this red heart. Again, I think I'm going to do that stacking glue dot technique. Could we? Oh no, come on. Don't stick. Don't stick. Don't do it. Can we call that a technique? Oh. Stacking glue dot technique. I don't know if that would be considered a technique. Okay, there. Now we're going to put that right there on the green. So cute. And then a teeny tiny bow. Teeny tiny bow. Did I have a bow in everything this week? I sure did, didn't I? Yeah, I sure did. Sometimes when I cut Facebook Friday projects to send out for free, I tie the bows. Right, you guys? Sometimes I do. But sometimes I don't because I don't have enough time. It's almost, when I'm sorting out projects, you guys, it's almost easier to tie the bows and then cut them and sort them out than it is to try to put a, you know, loose piece of string or ribbon and it's flying off. And so sometimes it's just easier to actually just tie all the bows. All right, last but not least, let's put it on here and done. Voila, we are done. All right, so this week, what time is it? Oh, it wasn't that late, surprisingly. Um, this week, we have made three press-on projects. I hope you guys like them. Um, remember, if you want me to send you the make and takes for free, you can put in an order between now and Monday at midnight. I'm going to lay them all out. I love to see them all when they're all done. Monday, between now, Monday, and, oh, God, between... Now and Monday at midnight, using the host code right here. It's also on the PDF. It's also on my blog, and it'll be in the description of this video when I'm done. Um, if your order is over $150, don't use the host code, and you'll still get the projects. However, there's a caveat to that. If you want the stamp and blends, you have to use the host code, okay? Usually, I say don't use the host code, but if you want the stamp and blends, you have to use the host code. I use the host code, the stamp and rewards to order the blends, okay? So you have to use the host code. If your order is large, if you put in $150 and you use the host code, then you get $15 in free product. If you don't use the host code and you put in $150, I'm gonna send you three sets of blends, which is worth 
$18, right? No, $27, which is way more than $15. So you're going to get more bang for your buck if you don't use the host code this week. Just saying. All right? All right, now, hey, on Monday, hopefully, I will have this project up on my blog too. Look, it's the stacked cups again. I use the embossing folder for the sleeve, and I put a pumpkin in there. And then I made it a gift card holder too, the same way, okay? So be looking for that on Monday. You guys, thanks so much today. I appreciate it. Be safe this weekend. Let's, let's be responsible. <laughs> let's not have any fun, okay? Let's stay home. You guys, thanks. And I appreciate it. You guys make my Friday afternoon so fun. I will see you next Friday. Oh, and don't forget, BOGO sale Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, okay? And I will be live either Monday, no, probably Tuesday morning, I'll go live to show you the BOGO stuff, okay? So I will see you Tuesday morning, and then I will see you Friday afternoon. Okay, you guys go have a relaxing weekend, and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye!